Hi, this is Triple X here with a tutorial about making one player versus two player select screens. Cause I got a few requests on it, and yeah, I'm about to use the one from the game I'm making since I don't feel like finding another one, and I have to go through all the coordinates for how I put the um versus screen cursor on. I mean, I'll show you a little bit about that too, and um, I'm gonna show you how to. Um, have the select the character selection picture um show on the screen because there's a little trick on how to do that also. So yeah, this might be about eight nine minutes. Probably hopefully it'll be shorter. So yeah, let's get started on that. First, you gotta have your demo. Um, it's a little bit bad on the renaming, but it's like have it like player select screen. Because you're gonna have that, you're gonna need that. So when you collect your when you select your title screen, you go to the player screen, the player select screen. This is the demos you gotta add into the game system. Right, probably add that. This is the background. It's a little messed up right now. A little fix. I need to fix a little bit, but that's the background for right now. Here's the um. Here's the versus screen, so like, like you know, just a little style to it. The question marks for the hidden characters. This is where you add the pictures after that. I just added five basic ones for it, for just the demo I released previously. So yeah, if you need any pictures, put it there. But put it like. Like I said, when you add the image, add the um, position you want it to be in, like the little order they the order you want it in. Oh yeah, and here's another one. If you want the um if you want the cursor to select that certain player in that certain order, you gotta have it um, set up in that exact order. Like see triple X is first, Violet secondary is, is third, Xeno is fourth, and Novelty is in fifth. You gotta have that set up in the exact order. for it to work and now for it to really work you gotta there's a thing in there that they already put called um let me find it right quick character selection pick this will make sure that the um object is selected all right first the character position Just keep that blank for now. Probably make another tutorial about that because I got that from someone else. Same with that. Probably don't even need the objects. To tell you the truth, probably don't even need the objects. I just put it there for safety reasons. I put the, I put the exact coordinates and I put in for the demo. I kept the select pick to make sure it really shows. And then, then it's, um. And always add a um go to scale right back so it go right back to there so it doesn't disappear. That makes sure it stays on the screen no matter how long. Now if you want a cursor for it, now if you really want a cursor for it, you're gonna have to um go to game system, game basic script. And there's your one player versus screen cursor. Just put your cursor there. Just after input. That's like after you select your character. Has the little input. Like I said, you don't need to move it anywhere because you could just do that with um the character selection coordinates. Now this one I can't really like tell you what specific just for it to work, but yeah, like I said, it's trial and error. If you really want to get it right, just this is how I set mine up. You're gonna have to like really just try it out. It takes a lot of trying to get it exactly right. That's what it took me. But like I said, it's, it's, it isn't entirely easy. I mean, it's really easy, but it's not entirely easy. Yeah, it's a lot of trial and error in this one. But like I said, if you want your cursor position right, just try it out, test play it, and everything. 
Now, for it to be a versus mode, you gotta, you always gotta keep it. You always gotta put it in versus character selector versus single character selector one player. Like I said, if you want all those screens on there, except for put it there, except for title, game over, and opening demo. Put it in these in these three. These three should always have it put in demo one, demo one, demo one. This should have been done, but. So you always have to first the screen selected once you go there. And like I said, everything else is voluntary. You can move it with um, arrows without even putting in uh, input commands. So, I mean, that makes it a little easier. Uh, I'm about to try it out for you. All right, this is the title screen. Just had a little cursor gone. This might be a little different according to how I really want to fix it. It's got a basic story mode, one player versus CPU versus mode. Got the music in the background. Right, let's go to versus mode. That's a little slow since I got a lot of stuff on because this engine does take so take up a lot of physical memory, so yeah, be aware of that. All right. Like I said, I got the coordinate set so I could have it set perfectly right there. Got the background music and everything. Yeah, since I have a lot of stuff open, it takes a while to load, so I could just go to the cursor. See, ever since I pushed the um another um since I pushed the right arrow key, it shows the second player because it's versus mode. So I could I could move two cursors, one for one player and one for two player. Like I said, all that's done by itself as long as you get the cursor set and all of the stuff set. Watch, I'll push. All right, where's my player? All right, I'll select Triple X, my character. It selects it. I don't really got to select the music for it yet, but oh, uh, I'll probably make that another tutorial if y'all really need it. Shouldn't be that hard though. Just add a sound. Epic vowel. But like I said, you gotta have it set in the exact order for when you add a character for it to work in the exact way. Can't just have the picture and it'll automatically detect it. So let's click the vowel. And I select triple X. See, it? it works just exactly. Now it goes into the battle scene. Pretty sweet, huh? Yeah, took a lot of took a lot of trying to actually get this right. But hopefully, this will be a lot easier. Help you a lot easier. So, I have to go through the shit I had to go through just to fucking figure this shit out. Yeah, this is actually the game I'm working on too. Like I said. So like it's the first screen and the um title screen is still question is still workable. Like I said, it probably won't be like it is on the tutorial. Mm. That's about for verse like two players. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. And if it doesn't work, I may have to go step by step on it. Or I know a good website you could join if you really need extra help and I can't help you on it. Like if you don't get what I'm talking about. Well, it's me, Triple X, signing out.